students welcome to my channel today i am going to tell you how to find number of unpaired electrons magnetic nature and magnetic moment for coordination complexes before i am explaining this i would like to recall how to write the electronic configuration as well as i will give one trick for you students see here first 10 elements in d block very very important that's scandium to titanium you should not forget the electronic configuration of these t uh, 10 atoms clear so already you know that so scandium to titanium atomic number it's 21 to 30 so here one trick i'm giving here so 4s2 is always common for all the elements so only the electron is going to change in the d orbitals so one electron is going to add in d orbitals from 21 to 30 so see here students if for scandium atomic number is 21 so i return it as 3d1 4s2 for titanium 22 3d2 4s2 so what is the difference between these two only one electron added in the d orbitals clear so like that all the electrons are added in the d orbitals for all these 10 atoms but one thing you should remember for chromium and copper so there is a little changes for attaining stability so transfer of electrons from 4s to 3d takes place hence it return as 3d5 4s1 it is very very important you should not return 3d4 4s2 instead of that you have to write 3d5 4s1 next it is an important question for one more also they will ask next for copper see here also same thing shifting of electron from 4s orbital to 3d orbitals so it becomes 3d10 4s1 so these two are very very important students while writing electronic configuration for d block elements so one clue i am giving here if it is 1 means 3d1 2 means 3d2 3 3d3 5 3d5 6 3d6 7 3d7 8 3d8 10 30 10 3d10 so this is the trick here students this is the trick so next we will discuss how to find the number of unpaired electrons see here i mentioned few atoms here first vanadium its atomic number is 23 so you know how to write the electronic configuration 3 means 3d3 4s2 next what uh, for coordination complexes metal not directly involved students only metal ion involved in the coordination complexes this is important concept you should not forget only metal ion involved in the complexes so here vanadium 3 plus this 3 plus means 3 ions are removed the 3 electrons are removed from vanadium atom so see here this is electronic configuration of vanadium atom here i am removing 3 electron means 2 electrons from 4s and 1 electron from 3d so remaining is only 2 electrons next for chromium 3d5 4s1 if it is chromium plus 2 means 2 electrons are removed from the chromium atom then you will get 3d4 chromium plus 3 means 3 electrons will go then remaining 3d3 for mn 2 plus means the last 2 electrons will go first then you will get 3d5 then mn3 plus means one more electron will go from d orbital you will get 3d4 so like that you have to write for the corresponding ions so vanadium vanadium 3 plus it forms in the complex chromium 2 possibilities mostly chromium 3 plus involved in the complex students next manganese plus 2 plus 3 iron plus 2 plus 3 cobalt 2 possibilities are there plus 2 plus 3 nickel always plus 2 students you should not forget that because only one possibility for nickel always plus 2 next to copper here in complex is copper plus 2 involved so 3d9 see here plus 2 means one electron from 4s and one more electron from 3d10 then remaining is 3d9 clear students so next i am going to tell you how to fill the d orbitals how to fill the electrons in d orbitals see students here two electrons here right for ion so this d orbital splitting you should write only for ions not for atoms because only metal ions involved in the complexes so you have to fill the electrons for ions so 2 means here 1 1 electron for d orbital for d subshell for d or d orbital 5 boxes are there 
so first you have to fill one one electron in or each orbital so here four means one two three four clear three means one two three students next five one two three four five four one two three four next six means first you have to fill all the electrons singly one two three four five now all the orbitals filled by one electrons now we have one excess electron for f2 e plus that is sixth electron that sixth electron filled in the first orbital that means pairing takes place here so the rem excess electron you should represent in downward symbol okay so see now 1 2 3 4 5 and the sixth electron in downward position you have to mention students next 3d 5 means 1 2 3 4 5 5 next 7 means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 next cobalt plus 3 means 3d 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, first you should not fill the pair electrons first you have to fill unpaired electron there is one one electron in each orbital then you have to pair the electron students first thing you should not pair the electrons okay so in forest all uh, electrons are zero in forest no electrons so next how to find the number of unpaired electrons so see here this is unpaired electrons this is unpaired electron students this is paired electron you should know the difference between paired electron and unpaired electron so this is unpaired electron that is single electron clear okay, students so see now here unpaired electron is 2 next here unpaired electrons 4 here unpaired electrons 3 here 5 4 here see this is pair so you have to ignore this so remaining is 1 2 3 4 here 5 here two orbitals are paired right in two orbitals electrons are paired so remaining thing you have to take 1 2 3 here one is paired orbital so remove that remaining four here three are paired so you have to ignore this only unpaired electrons you have to choose so two here and here only one next magnetic nature two magnetic nature are they paramagnetic and diamagnetic paramagnetic means unpaired electrons diamagnetic means paired electrons that means paramagnetic means attracted by magnetic field diamagnetic does not attracted by magnetic field so see here two means paramagnetic so here all the ions are paramagnetic because it has unpaired electrons so paramagnetic attracted by magnetic field it shows magnetic moment values next thing magnetic moment formula so here the formula is root of n into n plus 2 students see here this is the magnetic moment formula root of n into n plus 2 so this n represents number of unpaired electrons this is n value if you apply the n value here you will get root values see here 2 means you will get 8 dear students so root 8 means its value is 2.83 bohr magneton then here you will get root 24 here you will get root 15 here 35 if you substitute 5 here okay next 24 is same thing so root 24 root 35 okay first here i will tell the values here if it is 24 means the value you will get 4.90 if it is 15 means you will get 
uh, value starts with 3 3.87 if it is 35 or one clue i am giving if it is 5 means the value starts with 5 5.92 if it is 4 means the value starts with 4 4.90 so this is the second trick students if you know the number of unpaired electrons you can find the magnetic moment values the trick is the magnetic moment value start with the same number of unpaired electrons next 4 means value starts with 4.90 instead of solving this square root value we can directly substitute the values here so 5 means the value starts with 5 5.92 same so next one 3 means root 15 you will get here root 24 here root 3 1 means root 3 you will get so 15 means I give clue number of unpaired electrons 3 so 3.87 4 means 4.90 and 2 means the value starts with 2 same number 1 means 1.73 clear students this is the trick here so magnetic moment value is equal to the number of unpaired electrons no need to substitute you can directly answer it if you know the unpaired electrons so I hope you understand the concept of how to find the number of unpaired electrons magnetic moment and magnetic behavior students so one thing First, you should know how to write the electronic configuration for atom and ions. Second thing, you should know how to fill the electrons in d orbitals. And third thing, finding the number of unpaired electrons. If you use these tricks, you can find the number of unpaired electrons easily. Within a minute, you can find out. No need to solve everything. So, if you are thorough in that, directly you can find the number of unpaired electrons students. So, if you like this video, please click on like button, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.